Christmas pants. <laughs> so, welcome to my first YouTube video on my new YouTube channel. I had debated for a very long time whether I wanted to make this because who's gonna watch me? And why is this important? What What is even the point? You know, why should I even be creating any content or YouTube videos? Like, what do I have to say? And I realized that during quarantine, one, I wasn't necessarily bored, but I was craving something to do. I was craving like, the creative side of things you know i'm here in la as an actor and there are auditions that we're doing like self tapes and zoom auditions and everything um but it's just it's not the same being able to really make something i have decided to create a youtube channel for myself um because i want to be able to control my narrative and i want to be able to just put out whatever it is that i want to put out I enjoy watching YouTube videos. I think they're super fun and super cute. And I love watching like the food vlogs and the grocery hauls and the makeup tutorials, like anything and everything. Like if I'm confused about something, chances are like nine times out of 10, somebody has already made a YouTube video about it on like how to do it, what goes wrong when you do it, everything. And so I love watching stuff on YouTube. So I thought, better way than to create something. So my first video is going to be 27 facts about me at age 27. And don't mind as I'm looking on my phone, I have all of my things on here. So when I was in fifth grade, I cracked my skull. What happened was we were playing, we were playing tetherball. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically there's a tire on the ground and there's a pole that shoots out of it and there's a string attached to a ball attached to the pole and you kind of like hit it around and it goes in circles it's really fun when you're like nine that was happening and i don't remember everything that was happening but the pole kind of tipped over and i happened to be on the back end of that it hit me right here i flew what felt like 50 feet back i don't think it was 50 feet it was probably just like like three to five feet back but I just remember being on the ground. What just happened? My head hurts so badly. I get up and I have to go to the nurse's office, obviously. And there was this ginormous bruise, a big purple bruise right here on my forehead. Thankfully, this was in fifth grade. This was the day before like Christmas break. And so I had like two to three weeks to heal, but it was horrible. My dad, as an Asian dad, did not take me to the doctor. He was like, oh, it's a bruise, just massage it and it'll go away. It eventually did go away, but I will forever have like a very tiny bump on my forehead from where it was like dented and then there was the bruise and the bruise went away and now it's just like muscle. And now it's crazy because when you hit it, it like doesn't hurt. I can take a lot on this side of my head. I don't like raw tomatoes, but I like them on sandwiches and grilled cheese. I'm allergic to pineapple. I haven't formally been tested, like al allergy tested for this, but when I was a kid, I ate pineapple and my mouth got really itchy, my tongue got really itchy, like everything just like really just like hurt. And so now I don't eat pineapple, so. I am deathly allergic to dust mites and pollen. And I'm not just talking about like, oh, I sneezed once or twice. No, like I have to take nasal spray, a Benadryl, a extreme severe Sudafed, like I'm very allergic. I have family all around the world and I'm very grateful and I'm very, very happy to have them in my life. I have about 10 sets of aunts and uncles so I have about like 30 cousins on my mom's side. And on my dad's side, I have like four. I have family that lives all up and down the East Coast. I have family in, you know, Boston, Tennessee, North Carolina, Florida, and then my family's in Texas. And then I also have family in France. And then I also have family in Jerusalem, from what my dad has told me. Yeah, I guess that kind of coincides with my next one is that I have 30 cousins. Well, I think I have a little more than that because I have some cousins who had kids and so I guess that makes me their aunt. I got adult braces 
after college. My parents did not want to pay for me to get braces because they were like, your teeth are fine. Like your teeth are like kind of straight, like no worries. I'm a huge perfectionist and I really, really wanted braces. So after college, I got a big girl job. I was a consultant in Texas for like a year and a half, two years. I paid for the braces and I had them for a year and now this is what I look like. You should do what you want to do. My choice was that I got braces when I was 22. I'm Chinese. I'm Cantonese to be exact and I can speak fluent Cantonese. I went to Chinese school every Sunday for like nine years. I can sort of play the guitar. I just haven't been able to kind of like fully put a song together. I played basketball in middle school. My first role when I joined theater in high school was a musical called Fiddler on the Roof and I played a Jewish mama. To this day, I will never understand why I was chosen <laughs> to play Jewish mama instead of Jewish daughter because my face looked so young. It confused everyone. So what got me started into acting was in middle school, I was stage manager. I was behind the scenes and I was a stage manager for You Have the Right to Remain Dead. And then after that, I worked on Sue School and Musical. I really, really loved that. And so I asked my mom to drive me to my, one of my first auditions. I had an audition for a Hostess Cupcakes commercial. I didn't get it. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas. The first time I ever went snowboarding, I bruised my tailbone. I could not sit down. I fell so many times. I didn't really know how to fall at that time, but I fell so many times while snowboarding that on our car trip back home, cause we were in Angel Fire, New Mexico, on our car ride back home to Texas, it was so hard to sit down on my butt because I had bruised my tailbone so badly. I will never forget that. <laughs> I have an aunt in Paris. I have a bunion on my right toe. So I have to get like kind of the wider shoes. My favorite holiday is Christmas and will always be Christmas. I am super in to cooking shows, baking shows, I guess mainly baking shows. I love Sugar Rush, The Great British Bake Off, Nailed It, anything on YouTube, I'll watch anybody cook. I'm not a foodie by any means, but I just love eating. Uh, before I got into theater and acting, I was actually originally a singer. I, I love heist movies. Anything about a heist movie, I love it. Nine times out of 10, I'm always wearing sweats. I love my sweats. And I don't have any shame in that. Like there is no shame in the amount of sweats that I wear. I wear sweats to run errands. I wear sweats all the time, mainly because it's the most comfortable thing to ever grace my body. I'm a pescatarian. I gave up eating red meat and white meat, I guess you would say, about a year and a half ago. I have an economics degree from the University of Texas at Austin, and I'm very proud of that because when I was a kid, I didn't know if I wanted to go to college. I just knew that I wanted to be an actress. My parents were like, you need to go to college. And I went to college and now I have a degree and now I can say I have it. What's not fun is having student debt. Before I moved to LA, I was a tax consultant. I know, crazy, right? Now I live in Los Angeles and I have a couple different jobs. I'm a receptionist, I'm a babysitter, I'm a personal assistant, and I am a commercial casting assistant in LA. You know, we all have to hustle some way, somehow to survive. You know, it's not, it's not, um, it's not cheap living in LA. So I have a lot of different jobs. Those are 27 facts about me at age 27. I'm going to be really nervous posting this. This is just for fun. I've linked all of my socials below. I've left the comments turned off because that's a personal choice on my end. I am a huge advocate for mental health and I just feel that comments, no matter what they are, it's very difficult to read. There's a lot of mean people out there. I know that I'm putting out a YouTube video and I should turn them on and I eventually will, but for now, like, what's good for me is that I've left them off, but don't worry, you can still, you know, DM me on Instagram if you'd like, but this was just for fun and I hope you guys enjoy this video.